Facebook, Twitter, smartphone app, bfbs.com. Connect now with the Forces Station. BFBS. Now, forget driving home for Christmas. This year, the Forces charity Walking with the Wounded is encouraging us all to try walking home for Christmas to support veterans. And to tell us more is Head of Fundraising, Andrew Cook. Andrew, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Now, I saw this on your Facebook page, actually, and as soon as I saw it, we had to get you on to tell us about it. So how did the idea come about? Well, the idea came about actually via a conversation that I had with one of our fundraisers who's been involved in our bike rides with the British Lions rugby players called Jimmy Hibbert. And we were talking about various programmes that we've launched recently at the charity covering homelessness, mental injury and, and veterans in police custody. And we were looking at an angle where we could create a fundraiser around our homeless programme. So we felt that, you know, Christmas was a time where, you know, it's obviously very family-centric time, a lot of people travelling home to, to spend time with families, and, and we thought that it was a, an opportune time, really, to to launch a, a sort of an annual fundraiser campaign that we want to be a flagship campaign going forward, which gears around uh, the issue of homeless veterans. And so we came up with the idea of, of walking home for Christmas and supporting those veterans that don't have a home to walk to. Now, this homeless veterans project that you're running, I mean, what's the reality? Are there quite a lot of ex-servicemen and women that are homeless? Yeah, I think that there's been various sort of research done over the last sort of 10 years or so. And I think that the research that we've undertaken, that we have access to, suggests that one in 10 rough sleepers across the UK are veterans. And the fact that that's risen 37% in the last three years. I think in terms of the the total homeless sort of cohort across the UK, you know, it's upwards of 8 or 9% of, of those that are homeless are ex-military. It's a, it's a disproportionate number. It's quite shocking though, isn't it? It's quite shocking. It is, it is. The reality is that when our, our troops are sort of medically discharged from the military, be it for physical or, or mental injuries, that specifically with the mental side of things, life becomes very tough and the transition into civilian life and civilian employment is very, very difficult. And there's a, there's a direct correlation between those that, that do suffer with mental trauma and those that end up homeless. You know, they find, it, they find the transition coming out of the military is very, very difficult. And so we have a number of, of support mechanisms in, in place that covers not only homelessness, but mental injury as well. So we can ensure that we can provide a, a total service, if you will, for those that require it. And so the campaign Walking Home for Christmas is hopefully going to raise a lot more money to support uh, that programme and those uh, former former servicemen and women who have found themselves homeless. So just tell us what you're wanting everybody to get involved with, because this is on a global scale. It's not just for people in the UK. It's all around the forces world to walk home in December, isn't it? it absolutely. It's it's a UK initiative, but it's, it's also one that, that translates you know anywhere in the world. I mean, uh, basically what we're asking people to do is ditch their cars, ditch public transport, and for one evening between the 15th and 26th of December... To, to walk home for Christmas. You know, walk home for those that don't have a home to walk to. You know, it doesn't matter if it's one mile or a hundred miles. Uh, the important thing is, is to take part. It costs 15 pounds to register. We are looking for people to fundraise as well on, on top of that. But it, it's something that we want to spread out sort of virally amongst sort of, you know, organisations as well as, as individuals to get their sort of friends and family to walk with them. And I can imagine when you're actually walking, I think you already start the thought process and you already imagine what it must be like not to have a home at that time of year. So it's going to be quite thought-provoking, I can imagine. Well, yeah, I hate to say it. I mean, I think the, the reality is that our servicemen and women have walked in, in far more dangerous conditions than those not in the military could possibly imagine. This could be a very fun collegiate event where you can you get together with, with work colleagues and friends and family and make a make an afternoon and evening of it. And regardless of whether you're in the UK or overseas, it's very easy to get involved. Just type in walking home for Christmas to, into Google and find the, find the details on our website. You simply click through and register. Andrew, I don't know about you, but I'm holding out for a conga all the way home for Christmas. A conga? <laughs> oh, that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll, be that'll be pretty impressive. That'll be pretty impressive. We've got one guy, actually. He's, he's committed to walking 120 miles from London back to his parents. It's going to take him three days to do it. He's going to walk 40 miles, then sleep rough, <gasps> walk 40 miles the second day, and then sleep rough again, and then walk the four, final 40 miles home. So that's a pretty extreme case. But, I mean, as I said earlier, the reality is it doesn't matter if you're walking a mile down the road or 100 miles. It's taking part and it's it's raising some much needed funds for homeless veterans this Christmas. Definitely. Well, we're going to put all the links onto our Facebook page so people can find out more and tweet them, of course. Head of fundraising, thank you so much, Andrew Cook from Walking with the Wounded. Thank you for coming on the show. No, my pleasure.